I am honestly so psyched about this one because first of all you recommended me a lot to watch this one and secondly it's finally won a poll on my patreon so I have a great feeling about this movie and not just because I know that we're going to show some Russian characters and as you know I love watching Russian characters on the screen maybe because I'm so far from home and it's kind of reminding me on, of my hometown of my culture but also because I can judge you know, I can say, here they got it right, and here they got it wrong, and this is always fun for me. I am also curious how we're going to tie it up with this movie with Russian Revolution, because the name is The Hunt for Red October, and I'm pretty sure that Red October were referring to the Russian Revolution that we had, and also the director of this movie is John McTiernan, and he also directed Die Hard and Predator. So I'm expecting something super manly, super actiony here. Polarny inlet north of Soviet subbase near Murmansk. Oh, Murmansk! I actually have relatives who live in Murmansk. It's uh, super cold. It's always have a drink at always cold. Sorry. Haladriga. Always saying Haladriga. It means very cold, but it's like Russian slang. Okay, it took me a while to understand. Para, Para. Um, in Russia we actually say, you know, like, comrade, and here is like, comrade captain. I love the vocals here, listen to that. They're singing goodbye home, but it's very hard to understand. Okay, they said Red October, but October we did not spell correct. And here we're singing, we're saying hello to our fathers and our grandfathers. It's very, you know, it's because we're singing very Russian and the, and the song is pretty good, but it's just hard to understand. 12 meters longer than the standard typhoon, 3 meters wider. Oh, so... Trained most of their attack boat skippers. The Russians call him Vilnius Nastavnik. Nastavnik means like mentor, but Vilnius never heard this word. With your permission, I'd like to show these photographs to someone. Do you know Skip Tyler? Maji, have a car for Dr. Ryan downstairs in 10 minutes. Okay, so he approved. I think so. He caught Red October in Polyani and led this morning. See, man, Beaumont, signal, algorithmic. Wow, so many equipment. He gets to ragging on you too bad, kid. You could always ask him about Pavarotti. Okay, I also want to hear a story. All right. So he's got this music and he's got it out in the water and he's he's listening to it on his headset. All of a sudden, they start hearing Pavarotti. Pavarotti. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wild guess, but I'd say we had a boomer coming out of the barn. But this is interesting, you know? I've never even looked of how all of that operates. And for me, it's actually fascinating. Oh, this is Russian! Let's get ready for the deepening. You're gonna do pancakes now, I said. <laughs> okay, here's the direction 310. Huh? Okay, it's like take take the wheel. Oh, what? Yeah, he said the Soviet, Soviet Union. Soviet. Okay. Oh, this is so hard. Okay, I'm gonna put on subtitles. I don't understand it. Is it a prayer? Oh, alright. And the seventh angel poured forth his bowl. Oh, wow, look. Cried out from heaven, saying, It is done. Wow, I loved the shot so much. How we, you know, zoom to the lips. It's like. This book belonged to my wife. How many agents did the KGB put aboard my boat? Oh, KGB is everywhere. If the KGB or the GRU has agents aboard, I will be the last to know. You know, he does speak like a Russian politician. Oh, they each have a key, so they will know their agenda only if they both together with the keys. This is pretty secretive, I love it. To grid square reference 5490. Mm -hmm. I know he descends from aristocracy, and that he was your student. We are to return to Polyani on or about the 16th of this month. Okay, so this is a test operation. <laughs> the fuck? What? You cannot follow. And where is he going? 
He just... Oh, he's messing with our order, with what we need to do. Look at that. Report to my cabin immediately. There's been a dreadful accident. Oh, very dreadful. Ah, well, we're rigging it with a generic docking collar, so it'll mate with British, German, just about anybody, so... Oh, wow. This is pretty cool. Torpedo. Would you launch an ICBM horizontally? Sure. Why would you want to? How about a towed sonar array? No, ah, too close to the screws. What's amazing that he knows that much? A caterpillar drive. Please explain. Magneto hydrodynamic propulsion. Did not really make it clear. It's squirted out the back, only it's got no moving parts, so it's very, very quiet. Okay. They really built this. This isn't a mock up or anything. She put to sea this morning. We are professionals too. <laughs> this thing could park a couple of hundred warheads off Washington and New York. Oh, so we can attack without no one knowing about it. Doctor, this is a combat vessel of the Soviet Navy. We do not cancel operations because of accidents. Well, this is a very big accident, you know. I'm removing the political officer's missile key. Carry on. He, you know, the captain looks very intimidating. Captain, when I address the crew, then you will understand. Would you actually want to travel under water in a metal submarine with a dead body in it? Well, no, it's at about 20,000 yards. You're gonna make a life? Computer's chewing on it, sir. Okay. Low frequency Soviet Typhoon class submarine not previously recorded. Call this guy Typhoon 7, start a type on him. Let's see if we can work on a little So they do keep track of all submarines and type. Do we have any surface contacts, Mr. Borgen? No contacts, sir. Scope is clear. Good. You know, when you say Russian names, you put for not Borodin, but Borodin. Today, the game is different. We have the advantage. All right. Days of Sputnik and Yuri Gagarin. Yuri Gagarin. Engage Caterpillar and secure main engines. But what do we want to attack you as? Not 100% sure of his plan yet. They will do everything possible to test us. Mm -hmm. And when we are finished, the only sound they will hear is our laughter. We sail into history. Okay, we're saying... Um, oh. But it's very bad. The pronunciation is very bad. But they say gimn. It's, you know, I don't know how to say it in English, but with song that, for example, there's a football or soccer match and uh, players stand and they singing the country song. This is what we have been singing, but with very, very bad accent. Oh. And they say um, honor to our, um, to our native land. I'm pretty sure that Russian um, soldiers would do that. So I think this is a nice touch that we did. Yeah, it's, you know, it brings their, like, motivation. Oh, I haven't heard this one in so long. This is just so cool. One minute he was steady 4,000 yards off the bow and then he was gone. I thought I heard singing, sir. <laughs> It was a very loud song. Good morning, they said. Oh, look, <laughs> there is a Lenin portrait. We also had them in school. I mean, this was pretty common. This is what we literally had in school, you know, on the walls like that. We had very pictures. Oh, look, we also did an amazing touch. You see the, you see the mark with like a metal underneath? That's what we do have. Like, seriously, if you go to my grandmother, you'll find a max like that T, for example. So it's impossible to hold this. Oh, okay, he did not really like the letter. Eyes only. What does mean eyes only? So it is like no copying or what? The Joint Chiefs will be there, along with a few other people. Wow, this is very... Who's given the briefing? You are. Is he nervous? I think he might be a little bit. No one understands this material better than you. Mm -hmm. Give them direct answers. Tell them what you think. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, look, he is not excited about this idea at all. You could see that. No, 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 I'm not gonna go. <laughs> we believe called the Red October in reference to the October Revolution of 1970. Mm -hmm. A magneto hydrodynamic drive or caterpillar. It is possible that this new drive system allowed the captain, a man named Ramius, to elude one of our attack boats, the Dallas. Oh, this is so complicated. Would render the Red October undetectable to our Sosis warning nets in the Atlantic. Okay, I feel so dumb, but it's so it takes me time to understand all of that. 
Uh, it is designed to approach by stealth and to shower its target with multiple independent warheads. Yeah, we, had, we heard that. There are now some 58 nuclear submarines headed at high speed into the Atlantic. Oh, oh, wow. The absence of activity in the Pacific suggests this could be just an exercise. But it is never just an exercise. Before sailing, Captain Ramius sent a letter to Admiral Yuri Pedoran. Ramius' wife. Pedoran's her uncle. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> that's some family. And within minutes of that meeting, the Soviet fleet sailed with orders to find Red October and sink her. What was in the lair? Oh, my God. They've got a madman on their hands. <laughs> I wonder if he... He's thinking of something, look at that. Today is the 23rd, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, he's making some connections. I cannot... Okay, tell me, tell me! You son of a bitch! <laughs> Probably not the best phrase to say, you know, you in protocol. You wish to add something to our discussion, <laughs> Dr. Ryan? <laughs> Got too excited for a second. Ramius might be trying to defect. Okay, yeah, we want to hear. I want to hear too. He's Lithuanian by birth, raised by his paternal grandfather, a fisherman. Uh-huh, okay. And today is the first anniversary of his wife's death. Oh, come on. He's been a maverick his entire career. I actually met him once at an embassy. Oh, we know each other. How long before Ramius could be in a position to fire his missiles at us? We don't believe him, right? But we need to be ready. Dr. Ryan, would you stay for a moment? But, you know, I understand why we don't trust Russians here. Considering the Cold War and everything, I can see why we want to be prepared. You slammed the door on the general pretty hard, Jack. Yes. <laughs> that was not my intention, sir. My opinion, he deserved it. I'm a politician, which means I'm a cheat and a liar. Oh, the honest one. It also means that I keep my options open. Okay, this character is amazing. What do you suggest we do about it? We're talking about several billion dollars worth of Soviet state property. Yeah. Call it whatever you want to, a, a Coast Guard safety inspection. Mm -hmm. He actually, look, he listened to him. Second, we need to figure out what can we do to help them. So we actually go on with a plan. Somebody's got to go out there and make contact with Ramius and find out what his intentions really are. Yes, I think that's smart. Okay, when do you leave? Oh, so we're going to send him? Two, they'd never stake their reputation on a hunch, whereas you are expendable. Oh, but at least, you know, he didn't lie. Well, all right. Inquire of the engineer about the possibility of going to 105% on the reactor. So, um, did we use the actual submarine in t in this movies? Go to 105 on the reactor. Where are we going? We're going to kill a friend, Yevgeny. We're going to kill Ramius. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, we're going to kill a friend. <laughs> Not a fun operation. Before we begin, Captain, I'd like to know exactly what happened to Putin. Huh. We're risking our lives here. I wonder... The Putin could have caused complaints. I wonder why we used this name, you know? Stop whining, Yuri. But murder, how, how can so you justify... So he was murdered. You are not in command I here. See. If the crew finds out, everything that happens on this ship affects us all. Okay, so we're done. actually mad for not killing the man, but for killing without telling them. I dispatched a letter to Admiral Bedoran to defect. Oh, we actually are going to defect. Okay. God, why? Okay, that's why he was pissed. You have signed our death warrants. Yeah, well, there are already people coming for you. You couldn't just turn the submarine over to the Americans. You had to make a political statement. Anatoly, you're afraid of our fleet. Personally, I give us one chance in three. Well, still pretty good odds, you know. But I think, you know, that him being so calm and so intimidating actually scares them. Because we know that we don't know what to expect from him, right? You heard the captain dismissed. But you could see that we're not very happy about But he decided everything for them, you know? He did not even leave them a chance. It would have been better if you had not informed Moscow. Oh, Oh, they use such Russian names, like stereotypical Russian names of the Soviet Union time. We meet the right sort. This will work. We get some Bakaru. I don't know what what is Bakaru. Gentlemen, what the hell are you talking about, Charlie? And I imagine you'll tell me what all the hubbub's about. Hubbub? <laughs> what is hubbub? Like all the fuss is about? The moment that sub went silent, and I thought I heard some singing. Mm -hmm. I heard something in the background, real faint. Okay. When I asked the computer to identify it, what I got was 
magma displacement. I'm not following you, John. Yes, me too. Okay, come on, let's. Ten times speed. Okay, let's just chick, 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 chick. Now that's gotta be man-made, Captain. Oh, I see. At zero nine thirty, it was here. Yeah. I came back to it at eleven and eleven fifteen here. Okay, so complicated. Those canyons was a formation called Thor's twins, right? Okay, yeah. okay. Oh, this is so cool, but so, you know, it's so interesting, but I wish I would understand a little bit more. But I'll bet that magma displacement was actually some new Russian sub. Forty million dollar computer tells you you're chasing an earthquake, but you don't believe it. And you come up with this, right? <laughs> well, he looks very smart. Including all the navigation there. Yeah. Relax, Jonas, you sold me. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I love this. First take us to Periscope, Dad. This we've got to phone in. But you know, this is so, such a professional technical talk that so hard for me to get. But it, sound, it sounds so interesting. Like a detective work, you know? Don't forget to check out my Patreon for exclusive content right over here. And now let's get back to the movie. What's his plan? His plan? Russians don't take a dump, son, without a plan. <laughs> and senior Chill captains that. <laughs> don't start something this dangerous without having thought the matter through. The ones that don't defect are gonna go back and say we got the boat. Yeah, well, true. You to get them off the boat in such a way that they think we don't have it. Otherwise, this whole business is just academic. This is smart, yeah. We'll be in the CIC. Things a lot will get a little dicey around here. Are we going to talk it through now? You think he's crazy? Certifiable. <laughs> you see that ring on his finger? The Academy, class of 72, a Marine. You're kidding. Oh, wow. That kid spent 10 months in traction and another year learning to walk. Oh, my gosh. Did his fourth year from the hospital. Oh, this is so unfortunate. I also, you know, wondering if you smoke on submarine, this is, you know, the smell is just never leaves, right? It just stays there. And if entire crew smokes. Nothing the twins now, Captain. So Very good. a lot of secondhand smoking. Call me when you get to the first turning. Zero. Speed 18 knots. Yeah. What does mean speed 18 knots? Knots of what? Nine, five. Twins. In 30 seconds. Twins mountains. Increase depth to 200 meters. Diving control. Come left to 195. Come left to 195. Up on the bow right. planes. So many knots and such and such a course for so many seconds. And this thing handles like a pig. But you know, the fact that they're actually not saying anything to the captain, but you could see it like, you know, when he said increase to 26 knots, he starts to sweat. 15 degrees down angle on the bow planes. Come right, two, four, zero. Move it. I actually cannot imagine even, you know, how you operate the submarine. I feel like this is such a hard job. You need to be, you need to know so much and calculate everything like this navigator guy navigator guy must be so crazy talented and smart i did not get what this guy was saying on the phone except yes you're welcome there was a power spike but the reactor scrammed automatically captain we will have to stop until we can make repairs to the caterpillar unit make revolutions for 20 knots and engage the propellers he's very you know he sees where he needs to go and when he goes man will get us all killed oh. Everyone is on edge very now. <laughs> but he said what everyone's thinking out there. Mr. Ambassador, you have nearly a hundred naval vessels operating in the North Atlantic. Oh, they question him. You make your point as delicately as ever, Mr. Pelt. Could be a prelude to war. Oh, I see, I see. So in such proximity is inherently dangerous. Yes, I would agree here. Soviet Union is playing here a completely different game, which... We have lost one of our submarines. Lost it? Several of the crew of the officers are sons of high party officials. Oh, really? You're telling me that this is a massive rescue operation? That is correct. Okay, so now it is a rescue operation, not let's go get them in, you know, smack their hats. Perhaps a joint rescue mission? Oh. Is he checking his bluff? Battle stations! Oh. Battle stations! Oh, oh, oh. stations! Shall we bottom the boat, Captain? Oh, bottom the boat. Too late for that now. It's like go, go deeper and just lay down. Torpedo in the water. Stand by. 
Okay, they all... You see how nervous all of them are? Launch countermeasures. Launch countermeasures, aye, sir. What, what are the countermeasures? We have no room to maneuver in this canyons, Captain. Yes, we If the countermeasure huge. doesn't... Shut up! The fact that the Captain is still remain calm is actually showing him as a great Captain. Torpedo impact now, 40 seconds. 35 seconds. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Why I'm getting so nervous, I don't know. Seven. Six. Oh, he's very... He's like, we're all scared for their lives. Torpedo impact, 25 seconds. All right. The turn, Captain. Not sure. Oh, we want the torpedo to, hi to hit. Captain, if we're out of position by so much as a boat lane. Captain, we're out of the lane. You're relieved. Oh, he's so freaking nervous, I am. Right full rudder. Reverse starboard engine. Right full rudder. All fair. <laughs> Even if you're like, oh, wow, wow, wow. This is so crazy. Like, you know, seven, seven six, six, five. Seven. Oh, I love how we did this moment, honestly. It hit them? Captain, they're really shooting at us. Why? <laughs> because we don't know, right, what's happening. Like, for them, it's mission, but it's also where own people are attacking them. Whoever did this knew how to cripple a caterpillar in a way not easy to find. Oh, wow. Is it a KGB agent? Go below, Putin's cabin. Check his files for information on the crew. Oh, we cannot because we cannot risk the operation, but we're like in the middle of the water. I know how he's gonna get the crew off the sub, Admiral. Not now, Jack. But you know, he's always thinking about it. It shows that he's really like workaholic. The New Jersey and her group are moving up the coast, while the Russians, aside from maybe a hundred more bear foxtrots, they don't dumb it down, you know? <laughs> they're moving in close to 30 knots. At that speed, they could run over my daughter's stereo and not hear it. It messes up in a situation like this. We're gonna be in the biggest naval battles since Jutland. Well, yes, because there are so many ships now. Submarines, sorry. Admiral, is there a way you could get me on board the Dallas? Oh, I see. The Ooh. only way we can get you that far north is to strip it down and turn it into a flying gas can. And we all know his feelings about flying. Caterpillar is operational and appears to be running normally. You know, we could make the Labrador coast in 16 hours. Less than a day. And I will marry a round American woman and raise rabbits. Oh, rabbits. And I will have a pickup truck. This is actually a stereotype we do have about Americans. Uh, like, pickup truck. Do they let you do that? Yes. Oh. No papers? No papers. It's kind of, I think, you know, because we are got so nervous and so tired, it's actually nice. In winter, I will live in Arizona. To talk about it, their plans and hopes. Cancel my crazy Ivan! All stop, quick quiet! Crazy Ivan! Russian captains sometimes turn suddenly to see if anyone's behind them. Crazy Ivan. Oh, wow! <laughs> I miss the piece of fishing. Oh, I love fishing. My wife died while I was at sea, you know. So he couldn't even be there. Post guards in the engineering spaces. If he can get to the caterpillar, he can get to somewhere more vital. But you always need to be, you know, on where. How do you say it? Like, looking at everything. You're not gonna believe this. <laughs> is this about the guy coming? Yes, I think so. Wherever this guy is, he's in for one hell of a ride. <laughs> Okay, this is actually going to be interesting, you know, how we're going to, like, put him from a helicopter, from the chopper, to the submarine. Because I don't think it's that easy. But is the filming real? I mean, this is all actually what's happening. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, this must be so crazy hard. We cannot hook him. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, no. He's like, no, 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 I'm not coming back. What the fuck? <laughs> it's like, okay, let's go. <laughs> That's it. We done what we done. Oh, we got him. We got him. Look at that. Wow. Okay. Great. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be aboard. I bet. <laughs> it seems that the initial reports that one of our submarines was missing were not completely accurate. Is he going to tell the truth? Apparently, he has suffered a kind of mental or nervous breakdown in which he announced his intention to to fire his missiles on the United States. Oh, what a bastard! That's why now US is going to hunt it. 
Now you want us to help you hunt him down and kill him. Exactly. Oh. I've been instructed to ask your president for precisely that. Yeah, bad. Receiving flash traffic on the VLF emergency circuit. Very well, bring it down. Okay, let's now talk man to man. There's the possibility that he and a good portion of his crew are attempting to defect. Here's <laughs> he did not expect that at all. You say the boat's called the Red October. Mm -hmm. It seems the circumstances have changed somewhat, Mr. Ryan. Oh, is it about about the missiles? Crime is his potential renegade and threatens independent missiles. Yes. Well, but this is actually. Like, from the Soviet Union perspective and how we're trying to hunt them down, you know, not to let them defect. And using this strategic is actually like an evil plan, right? Like, okay, let's make US, you know, hunt us and kill, so it's like... Let's shrink for red. Let's go for red! Is he not crazy, Ivans? Because the next one will be to starboard. Why, because his last was to port? No, because he always goes to starboard in the bottom half of the hour. Oh, wow. It's actually showing that he does know him. In your orders, I'm telling you, he wants to defect. Mr. Thompson, call Chief Watson to the con with his sidearm. <laughs> Thompson, I'm crazy Ivan. He knows, he knows, right? He knows the man. Which way is he turning, Jones? To the starboard, sir. Give the match. Go on, yes, right? Again? I said all back full. Back full, I, sir. It's fair. He's giving him a chance, right? That, that's what it meant. American Los Angeles class attack submarine bearing 015 Captain range Shelf, 300 meters. Transients. Flood tubes 3 and 4 and plot a solution. Hi, right, Captain. Flood tubes 3 and 4, plot solution. Oh, you see, he's getting nervous. But remember how he said, you know, they should worry about Americans and it all depends on who they're going to get. Lock the firing solution into the computer. Do not open the doors. All popping. Target's coming shallow. What's that mean? He's not going to fire, is it? He knows we're here, we're ready to shoot, he's not going to provoke us. Very well. Fire control, range to target. Range is 300 yards. This is so, this is so intense again. And we not even like put the music or anything, it just feels very intense. He wants to go up and take a peek. Okay. Oh, I love it so much. Mark this bearing. Okay. But how are we going to communicate though? They like, cannot just call. If intention is other, will you discuss option? Break. How this is going to work? Verify our range to target. One ping only. Okay. Okay, he's so nervous. Oh my gosh. If defection. Okay. Laurentiel Abuso. Okay. Abuso. You're out of your mind. Just send it. Well, so far he was right all the time, so I would I would follow it. You know he was gonna go to starboard. I didn't. Wow. I had a 50-50 chance and I needed a break. So <laughs> oh, that's very risky game he is playing. Re-verify our range to target. One ping only. Captain, I, I, I just... One ping only, please. So one ping is like a yes? <laughs> What the hell is this about? We must give this American a white butt. Lopatinska Katlava. Pritaloka. And with second word, I don't know what it means. It might be technical, but it's uh, I don't think it's the actual word. Everybody out! Clear the compartment! <laughs> it's something they said something about torpedo. I did not get it again. Oh. So shut down the reactor, yeah. but the ventilation circuits have been disabled. Oh, so this is another... Get us to periscope depth. We will ventilate with the outside air. Oh. Hi, Captain. Who said anything about sabotage? Captain! Yeah, that's what I think. The sabotage, right? Surface. We'll evacuate the man to the deck. But it's for everyone. There's like four minutes in the water. No officer will spend more than 20 minutes below deck. Okay. It's a frigate. US probably red. October. Halt and stay where you are. What does halt mean? To submerge or you will be fired upon. Oh. The officers and I will submerge beneath you. See the order of men into this country. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, I think there is a plan there. Because only human officers, right? Put a shot across his bow. We shot it. Did they? Seahawk 1, release on my command. Okay. Drop. Oh. Now. 
Oh, whoa, whoa, this is bad. 800 yards. Oh my gosh. This dude, like, detonated. Oh, this is our guy. That torpedo did not self destruct, and I was never here. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Okay, we're in position. <laughs> Is it like, hey, open the door? <laughs> it's like, come here, come here, it's sudda, it's sudda. Be very careful, come here. You should know that no, none Americans have ever been on that ship. He said, one minute. Oh, he, he asked for a cigarette, but we know he doesn't smoke. Is it to break the ice? Like a universal gesture, right? With a cigarette. It's like he's showing that... Come on, we are friends. Let's melt this ice. <laughs> he's turning green. Okay, yes. It's wise to know that where opposite side is, is thinking, is, is speaking. I doubt you'd remember, but we met once. Consulate in Leningrad. Leningrad is now called St. Petersburg. What gives you the right to fire on my ship? It was necessary to maintain the illusion for your crew. Then how did you know our reactor accident was false? Well, that was a guess, but it seemed logical. Oh, I see. So it was actually false. <laughs> Sorry for the puppy. My officers and I request asylum. The Americans are shooting at us again. Pitch is too high. Torpedoes rush. Oh, we're our mm -hmm. Russian ship. Where the hell did it come from? Oh, and now we have Americans on board. Captain <laughs> by you. Captain by you. Captain is fighting. They're like, Captain is fighting. <laughs> but we all see him as a hero now, right? Well, it was his some twisted plan. There's a Russian Alpha about 8,000 yards to starboard. Captain, I think it's a Konevala. All ahead flank, right full rudder. All ahead flank, right full rudder. He's shooting rudder. again, sir. To this reach, three, one, five. No, oh, that's wrong. Okay. Brian, don't turn that goddamn wheel. Okay, okay, but it's like, oh, we're going to listen to now. You're heading straight into that torpedo. Yes. Yes. Why? But October's turned directly into the torpedo's passer. Oh, <laughs> what's interesting choice of a land? Already running 110%. Oh. And give me 115%. Well, this is... 3,000 yards, closing awfully fast. Yes. Four, three... I bet, like, all their life is going through their eyes right now. I don't... I don't get it. What happened? What happened? By turning into the torpedo, the captain closed the distance before it could arm itself. Wow. <gasps> oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Look, look, look! Who is this? Who is this shooting? What the fuck? Who changed his mind, huh, Ryan? It's gotta be one of the crew! Well, whoever he is, I'd say he's having second thoughts. <laughs> oh, I'll be damned. Is he shot? <gasps> oh, no, no, no. I don't think there is a, like, a... I don't know. There's no hospitals. Oh. I'd like to have seen Montana. Come on. And we heard, like, your story, you know, a pickup truck and a wife with rabbits. He stumbled forward into the missile bay. We're showing a silo hatch warning. Port side, number 20. You know, like, he needs to, like, think about the strategy now that his friend is dead. Don't just stand there, Ryan. <laughs> Go with him. But I like it. You, you speak English? <laughs> yes, sir. Get your butt over here. Yes, sir. <laughs> Who was shooting? Most things in here don't react too well to bullets. Oh, well, yes. You cannot shoot in submarine, right? How he's going to, this is probably, this is a KGB agent, isn't it? Okay, this looks so scary. Some things in here don't react well to <laughs> He's so grumpy. <laughs> but I'm not judging him here, I would understand. It's quiet us and his homie. Left full rudder, he's off in your bat plane. No, come on, come on, come on, please do that, please, like, the little swifts are there. Four. <laughs> Emergency blow! Full ride! Oh! Full blow! Wow! Oh my gosh! It's like Captain got him! Captain got him! And we're all, you know, cheering for him! <laughs> for them, he's a, like, he's such a hero! You know, I don't know why, but I just feel like it's so emotional right now! Like, I wanna cry! A goddamn cook! Yes! A cook! 
Okay. Let me, like, let this be, basically. Don't touch it. <laughs> okay. Hard part about playing chicken is knowing when to flinch. He's thinking. Right, full rudder, 30 degree down. Oh, shit, this is so, oh my god. You are an ass. You've killed us. Oh, shit. Whoa, shit. Oh, my. This, I did not expect a row. Oh, we're thinking this is where captain, that's because we take their... I'm actually not sure if this is where international dresser, but in Russia, we do take hats off. Crew now and make arrangements for their return. There is another matter. One that I'm reluctant to. I'm wondering, what is he going to say? You've lost another submarine. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> We're 100 miles from the nearest naval base. The last place that satellites will ever look. Now there are those who believe we should attack the United States first. When the dust settles from this, there's going to be hell to pay in Moscow. A little revolution now and then is a healthy thing, don't you think? Oh, Red October. Like, they connected, they connected the dots here. And the sea will grant each man new hope. It's like... He's, they're singing goodbye, my, my home. Freaking great movie, I loved it. First of all, I'm gonna say that, you know, even though we didn't really, you know, nail Russian language here, it was kind of very shitty, I'm sorry, but it's true. I could not understand what we were talking about, so I had to actually read. There are only a few words that they caught right, but, you know, they put many little details, like, you know, like a mug, with like this metal thingy or like their idea like how they talk you know how they react i loved it i actually found i might not remember all the little details that they put but i found it very great and i loved that they put this traditional russian songs on the background it actually like for me i might for you it might be a little weird to hear but for me it was like oh home <laughs> it's not very actiony I would say it only had uh it it had quite a few action moments with a lot of drama but most of the time it was more like a detective work you know how we were trying to figure out here and i loved i already mentioned it during the movie but i loved how they um separated like different groups of people here like the team of cia and one submarine and our submarine and you know when you're watching you see different people in different places but you don't know their plans like you're not sure what they're going to do but slowly step by step you're like also unraveling the mystery each one of them i think the movie is great the russian is broken here but you know, even the idea that they tried, and it's actually like the first few minutes, they were trying to speak in Russian, which actually was a great deal for me, you know? I know that actors are English speakers, and they don't they don't talk Russian, but the fact that they tried, even though it was broken, and it, I couldn't even understand that, the whole idea is pretty awesome to me. I actually, I enjoyed it a lot. So movie is great if you want to see my full length reaction video follow my patreon the link is on the video and it's also in the description also please don't forget to press like subscribe to my channel and let me know what you think about the hunt for red october and if you loved it as much as i did um i also want to say thank you to my patrons and i want to have a special shout out to the following patrons robert sisam richard bremner ignore beam cory abram mike bradley thank you guys very much and i'll see you very soon in my next videos bye